What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here. Hanging out today doing stuff things on the Ark Survival Evolved Pooping Evolved Server. That's right, ladies and gentle peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. I had to distinguish Ultimate Destroyer from Steve, so I painted Ultimate Destroyer's beak white. We might put some blue on them, but, but I don't know. We're thinking about painting them anyway, whatever. Not going to paint over the black, though. The black is so baller. It's so ballerific. Let me turn my gamma's down a little bit for you. It is under cover of night. Mazion's on his way over. We're going to do some taming today. I'm really excited about it. What do you want? You coming in here? I don't have my gun on me. Crap, I can't do anything to you. Oh, yeah. You want to get mach machete? Machete? Passive. So, um, hope you guys are having a good day. Like I was saying, I'm having a really good day. You guys have been killing it on the videos lately. As always, I want to take a moment to say thank you so much. For all of your likes and support on the videos. No, not aggressive. Neutral. There we go. There we go. So, yes, it very much means a lot to me. I very, really, really, really do appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Look at Gigabyte looking at me like she's going to eat my face. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Did a little bit more leveling on Ultimate Destroyer. The stats are looking pretty good. Can I see them, please? Oh, I'm hitting the button. There it is. So we got him up to 1,000 melee damage, 15,000 health. And by the way, I only had to pump his health two times. He gains like 2,500 health per point. Uh, movement speed up to 163. I think we're going to try to move this up to 200 um, to get him to be really fast. Maybe back and forth between movement speed and melee damage from now on. Um, I did take on an Alpha Carno with him and did not get hit one time because of his AoE knockback. It just came at me and I just kept hitting it back. Um, it was kind of unbelievable to ultimately destroy him. We ultimately destroyed him, Ultimate Destroyer, you and me. And Steve, well, Steve's just here. Steve's just a guy. We're going to start pumping weight on him. But anyway, like we were saying, um, like I was saying, we're going to start doing some taming today. Mazion's going to come over. We're going to go underwater. You know, we haven't really done anything water-related this season. And, and it is kind of a little bit because there isn't anything water-related to do in this game right now. Like, the caves aren't really important anymore. You can get the water dinos, but I guess we're not building water bases. There's not a lot of resources. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of reason to go there. But we have the anglerfish now. I really want to play around with those. And we have Kairuku eggs now. We got all the Kairuku eggs. Look how many we got. 50 piece. I can't even believe it. We got 18 dodo eggs. And dodo eggs are used for what? Ichthy kibble? Um, we also have four spino eggs, and Maz is going to bring over some more spino eggs. Those are used for megalodon kibble. So Maz is on the lookout for an anglerfish. I don't have a megalodon. I don't have an ichthy, and I don't have... Um, well, we have that one angler, but it's just like a little one we tamed just to show you. So I think we're going to come over today, and um, in the beginning of the video here, we're going to get a little bit of kibble made, and then we're going to go out and do some taming peeps. I'm excited! We'll be our bees. Are you ready? I'm, I'm amazing. I'm going to count it down. Ready? Yep. On three. Three. And we're back! You didn't jump. With Maisie on! There we go. Did oh, you see whoop. that? That was a I 180 did. spin pooperino I just gave you right in the mouth area, place. Well, I don't like to eat poop, sir. Well, no. I mean, it's fertilizer. It's like a gift of fertilizer. Oh, well, let me give you that gift. <laughs> give me the gift of fertilizer. I'm going to give it to you right in the face. Well, give it to me. There you go. Oh, Casey's here. <laughs> so anyway, uh, today we are going to do some taming of the stuff and things and look inside of this right here at the number of the uh, Karuku eggs we have, man. Where are they? Oh, holy crap. It's the 50. first one. 50 yeah, Karuku gotcha. eggs. Crazy, man. So, all right, I've got a bunch of, we need Savaru, we need Medjo Berries, which I've got a bunch of. I'm going to bring those down with us. How much do these weigh? Oh, only 150, so that's no big deal. Um, and then what else do we need? <laughs> Cooked meat jerky. Uh, all right, we'll bring a bunch of that down, too. So we're going to start off today. Um, you're looking for an anglerfish. Yes, high-level anglerfish time now that we've got the patch that fixed all the torpor issues. Yeah, we got all that fixed up, so you're looking for angler. Now, I'm looking. I'm in the market for anything water-related. Ichthy, Megalodon, or, um, or anglerfish. So it doesn't matter to me what, what I get. Um, well, we could maybe get all of them. 
Yeah, all of those are good. So whatever one we find would be great. So um, now you, I guess you have some stuff. What do you do? You have like high level megalodon or what? Uh, my megalodon's pretty good. It's not like super high level, but it, it'll get the job done. And uh, my ichthyosaur died during the mosasaurus debacle. Oh no! Yeah, that stinks. Yeah, that's um, all right. Someday I'll have another one. Plus, I think the anglerfish itself is pretty awesome because it's like a hybrid between the ichthy and the megalodon. So it's got some like hardiness in its uh, attack, and as well, it's fast. Right, right on. All right, cool. Yeah, you're right. All right, so we got I got some water in here. You, we're gonna find. I hope we find a really high level angler. That would be really cool. Yeah, I found a 108 on the first day, man, and then I started trying to feed it narcotic, and it just didn't work out. The torpor the... issues were were big, but we're on the patch now. Oh, that also patched the organic polymer, didn't it? Ooh, let's go have a look. Yeah, so I have some up here in my fabricator. Now, I wonder if it only patches newly harvested organic polymer or existingly harvested organic polymer. Oh, all my organic polymer is gone. It's gone? Instantly gone. Oh, so no. I, I had, like, hundreds in here. And it's all completely gone. So uh, interesting. So if you have organic polymer that you stockpiled, it's all gone. That stinks, uh, man. I don't even have to check at home then, though. So thank you for that. I, I don't have to look. I know now. Oh, am I missing something in here? Oh, Savaru. Crap. All right, we got it. There we go. Let's stick it in there. Fix um, ingredients. So all of your stuff is gone. It's a sad day for organic polymer stockpilers the worldwide. And we're going to make some uh, kibble. And we'll be our next, peeps. Bear bait. <laughs> All right, we've made it to the water pen. We're here with Tiny, and we've got my angler fizz and my megalodon megalogirl. We're going to go out and we're going to find us some stuff. Right, Tiny? That's right, man. This uh, angler fish looks amazingly cool, man. Oh, man, I know. I wish it was 108. Like, it's all <laughs> black and, like, amazing looking. Like, the coloring on it is unbelievably cool. But, all right, so we got a couple other things, too. We have uh, Lazarus Chowder, which we're kind of going to use in the beginnings here to save on scuba gear. And we're going to head out, and we're going to look for anglerfish. And I'm pretty sure we're going to find one. Now, also, like I was saying, I'm looking for a Megalodon or an Ichthy. Um, and with Kibble, I really want to try to go for, like, over 100 level, level 100. So that's my deal. All right, so keep your eyes peeled, homie. Sounds like a plan. I will keep my eyes peeled. I just got a level. What are you pumping on this guy? Uh, pump what you would. Uh, go nuts. Stamina. All right, I'm gonna pump a point of stamina. I'm stuck, and I need to. Oh no, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> last chowder to the rescue. All right, let's get some last chowder action going on. They'll also uh, save us, you know, because our flak armor is more hardy or whatever armor that you're wearing than the scuba gear. So if we get attacked, it will be less of a detriment. Yep, yep, yep. All right, I'm going to follow you. Oh, there's Nick the What level are you? Twelve. Not anymore. Not anymore. All right, I'm going to follow you, man. Um, let's go. Let's go find some cool stuff to tame. Sounds good. And we're back. We found an ichthy worth taming. Not quite 100, but 92. Definitely not bad. There you go. Oh, man, one kibble I gave him. It's almost half. He's going to nice. team up, like, instantaneously. Wait, wait. Oh, That's so you got guy. this one. Okay. Yeah, I got the right guy. Not the not the left guy. I got the right guy. So it can barely see. He's not hungry again. We're going to have to wait a little bit here. Did you just punch his friend? Yeah, I stabbed it a couple times. You just stabbed your, his friend, man. Well, right, because he's not cool enough to be part of the cool kids club. I mean, that his other friend, too. He is inside of there. So it looks like it's going to take about three kibble. Oh, wait, he's peaced out. Don't peace out, homie. We're hanging out. Yeah, it looks like it's going to take three kibble to tame him up. And honestly, we could probably feed him, like, at the very end, just one piece of prime. And save ourselves a kibble, but it is dodo kibble, so it's no big yeah, one. it's fun. Dude, I love the colors of your ichthy. I've never seen one like this dark blue before. Yep, that's why I picked him. <laughs> it's really awesome, actually. Yeah, he's cool looking. He's kind of, I don't know, he's kind of plain. He kind of looks like a tuna fish. 
Yeah, he does. I love how he keeps sticking his nose inside my dinos. Yeah, he's, he's like, trying to sniff its butt. That's how they honor. tell, like, what their friends are not. <laughs> By sniff each other's butts. Don't you know anything about ichthyosaurs? I don't. <laughs> I, do, I know some things. So, also, we found out this really cool thing. Um, it's actually really a really good way to maintain your your uh, uh, scuba gear by using a Lazarus shower because when you're down here, you can just put your scuba gear on and it'll fill your oxygen back up and then you can take it back off. Yep. Yep. That is a really good trick for sure. Oh, also, if you're wondering why my stuff isn't painted anymore, I died and fell through the world and so I had to go. We have I have new items now. So we got new stuff. I had to replace all my stuff and so that's why none of it's it's painted. I need to get like a backup set of armor. Yeah, actually, I always do that. I have a backup set at home. So everything. smart. All right, this is it. Come here, homie. We got him. Woo! Named him. You named him. I got him. I'm naming him right now. Oh, Jetski. Oh, Je Jetski. Jetski. He's the Ichthy. His name is Jet Jetski. That's right. Well, so he tamed out 137. This guy's pretty baller, man. Yeah. And we've been out doing stuff. What have we seen so far, Maz? Uh, not much. We saw, what, three anglers total, and a lot of megalodons, plesiosaurs, killed a mosasaur, that kind of thing. When you're, when you're working at this depth, you're gonna be killing lots and lots of, uh, plesiosaurs. Yeah, there's tons of stuff out and around here. Um, what's Jet Ski looking like here as far as statistics goes? 630 health, 1500 stamina, baby, that's what's up. Uh, 350 weight, 2, 345 weight, 412 melee damage and 100% movement speed. That guy's pretty baller, to be honest with you. He's pretty good. He's going to be a great addition to your aquatic crew. I know. So do you think we should take him back right now, or should we take him with us? I think we should take him back because of the amount of uh, danger that we are in. The danger? Um, and then the other thing, too, is, like, I, I don't know, man. Maybe we should bring it along. Uh, this is just has a very small amount of stamina. Yeah. Yeah, we can get a uh, we can get your ichthy, or we can put a saddle on him and bring him with us, and uh, go looking for more stuff and things. That way, we'll get some levels on him if we did bring him with us. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, man. All right, back to the home base, and then out for more angler fish finding. Sounds good. Your bees, peeps, and we're back with two angler fishes. Finally, these guys are not easy to find, man. No, nope. and we found two of them, and one sixty and one sixty four, and they're just chasing me around. <laughs> oh, they are. Ah! Now, are we going to tame both of them, or are we just going to kill that 16? We have to be very careful. It's really difficult to kill one off without damaging the other. Um, so I think that probably what we should do... They're both going to run away once they start getting hit with the crossbow. Yeah. Uh, we probably should just uh, uh, dismount and start going at the one that we want, and uh, probably hit the other one too. And one of us could uh, actually take off and kill the 16 while it's running away, and then we'll just have to You have a big plan. Around. It's the big plan. Yes. Okay. I, I'm getting killed a lot. Yep. So I'm going to start hitting them. <laughs> All right. You start hitting them, and then once the 16 moves off, I'm just going to sit here and let them hit me. Once the 16 moves off, I'll go after it and destroy its face. Um, you got to keep track of the 64, though. I don't know which one's which. The one that is right there is the 16. Yeah, hit it. And now it's running away. What about the other one? Okay, I 64. Can't. That's the 60. Go kill the 16 right now. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, 16's out of the way. We did it! We did it! Oh! I got, I got the 64 here. I was worried that Jet Ski was trying to go after it. No, he's just following me. Cool. He should be. We got him trapped against the fifth queen! You shooting it? I don't want to shoot it if you're shooting it. I am, I'm shooting it. Oh, that can make a girl. Oh, he's so hard to hit while he's attacking you because he's inside of the Megalo girl. Oh, well, I'll just move and it'll. There it is. There it is. Reveal itself. You got it. Oh, you you knocked me out. You're knocked out. Yes. You're knocked out, Masion. Get knocked out, homie. Oh, dude, my oxygen's going down. What? Come help. Come help. Do you have your scuba gear on? Yes. How am I gonna help you then? Maybe you broke it. Try to switch it out. With my other scuba gear. Uh, nope. Your scuba gear's still here. What the crap? You shouldn't be losing oxygen. 
Where's the, where's the, did you get the thing out? Is it knocked out? Did I get the thing out? Nope, I left it to come and help you like you asked, okay, buddy. Okay, well, it's okay. Go find it. I'm going to die. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, we'll be our bees. I think we lost that guy, buddy. So we'll have to go and find him and I'll wait yeah, for you to come back. We'll get him. Oh, I died. Ah! So I, I will say, though, kind of silly that you would die underwater while you have scuba gear on when you're knocked out. That doesn't really make much sense. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, to be honest. I'm not very happy. <laughs> yeah. All right. That stinks, man. I can't also believe that I knocked you out in one shot. That's right. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Where'd I hit you, man? I have no idea. All right. All right. BRBs, peeps. BRB. Hey, we're back. We found another one. Now, we've actually been looking for anglerfish for such a long time. We've lowered our standards. This is a 56, but we're going to take it. Are you on? Are you with me, Mass? I'm with you, man. All right, I'm man. right here. I'm chasing his face. This guy's white. He's a cool color. He is a cool color. He's not as cool as Fizz, though. Fizz is the coolest color. Is Jet Ski following me? Yep. Okay, okay. God, this guy's moving. Uh, do I have flippers? I do. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, wow, I lost him. Oh, wow. He moves fast, man. He's going up. That's weird. He's going to the surface! Oh, he's, I'm, you got him. Not anymore. Oh, he's coming after me. Oh, oh, oh. Is he still after me? No. I'm going to shoot him in the butt. Where did he go? Okay. Man, oh, him. man. I shot him in his face. Is that his face? Do they have a face? They do. It's the thing that's ugly. Do fish have feelings? Um... E no. That's yes. why it's okay to eat fish. Right. Lobster. Because fish don't have any feelings. Oh! Oh, he's eating you. Get knocked out, homie! Please These guys are so hard to knock out. out. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. We might kill him. I hope not. I'm not firing anything at him at all. I am. Don't, don't hit him in the face. I'm going to slow down a little bit then, I guess. All right. I always forget when I'm not using trank darts, you know. Right, because the reload time is enough. Where you can kind of go a little bit slower. Trank darts give you topor more instantly, where these give you a little bit more of a... It slowly rises. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There he is. Oh, is that hey, it? Is, is he, he down? Out? Yeah. He's down, he's out, he's out. Don't go on, just we need prime meat. Oh my Wait, god. No, we have kibble. No, don't we have we? kibble. You can use kibble right. on him. It's totally fine. That's great. Let's because, do it. Because, yeah, I'm going to have a ton of Kairuku kibble everywhere. Like, I'm going to have all the Kairuku kibble. Cool, man. We found it. We got him. We got the kibble on him. Woo! I'm excited, man. He's probably going to team out maybe at like 70, 70, something like that. It'll be a better test of what their stats are like uh, in comparison to Fizz, who's just like kind of a junk fish, but it looks the best. He does look amazing, but all right, so we got this guy. Did you put the kibble on him? I did put the kibble on him. Dude, you're so thoughtful about kibble placement. Well, right, because I wanted to stuff things right up his butt. Dude, that's gross. <laughs> all right. All right, so, oh, do you notice something cool when they're knocked out? Look inside of his mouth. You can, like, see all the way to his butt, Kalika. I like, look the... all the way back there. I'm you looking... See? So you, now who now who's talking about looking at their butt Chloe? Well, you were trying to put things in there. Oh, there's another one. There's another one right here. Where is it? What oh, level is it? I don't know. He's he's super fast, dude. Oh, is this this, this, this black one? Yeah. What level oh, wait. are you? Are... Is that Fizz? I don't have my. Damn oh, thing it on. is right. I did the same thing, man. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, they moved off to attack something. Oh, that was, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So never mind. No emergency. Everybody, calm down. Eat the um, kibble. Eat the eat your kibble. Oh, did we it's bring not, narcotics? I did bring narcotics. You're smart, thinker thing. Now let's look and see if it actually does something now. Oh eat yeah, since they changed it. Oh my god! Like, look, the torpor is going up. It's amazing. It's amazing. So for you guys that didn't know, when me and Drax tamed it, um, we had ours did fine and we didn't have a problem. But some of them were glitchy and you couldn't give them narcotics. Their torpor would not go up. Yep. So, my viewers saw when I tried the 108 that there was just no no way to maintain a torpor at all. It just went down whenever you fed it. Which which sucks that you lost the 108, but, you know, say a lot, Arc. Um, Arc happens. It's just the way it was. It was a new fish, so 
Still pretty cool. All right, so we got this guy. We're going to let him tame up. I want to see how much this one kibble is going to do. It should be 80 food that he's going to go down by. Yep. Oh, wow. we got to wait a while. He's only at, it's... like, he's only down by 40. I know. It's taking forever. So, all right, we're going to sit here, and we'll be our bees when he's tamed, I guess. Sounds good. Here we go. First bite. Eat it. Eat your first bite. Oh, nice. baby. About a, a third. Ish. All right. How much trouble have we fed him so far? About 50? How much we? How many did I feed him? The narcos. Narcotics, yeah. Um, I don't remember how much I had on him. You, you ended up feeding the rest, right? Yeah. I fed him that whole thing. So I think it was about, I think you put 50 on there or something like that. It's still going up, so. All right. Well, this guy's about to have his last feeding. <laughs> He's gonna eat any second now. Any second in in about ten seconds. Well, ten seconds or so. It's coming up, man. It's coming up. It's coming up. This is the first time we've done this. Um, nobody previously said, and we're back. This is about his next last feeding thing. Okay, here it is. Math. All right, ready? Here it is. Here it is. Woo! You did it. I tamed an angler. What do you want to name him? Uh, I'm gonna name him Buzz. Bu Buzz? Buzz. Because the other one's name's Fizz, and Fizz Buzz is a coding, uh, coding experiment that you can do when you're learning how to code. Anyway, so, so if you're a coder, you'll know what Fizz Buzz is, but anyway. <laughs> I'm not a coder. I'm a, well, a non-coder. It's a really so, long story how to explain it, but anyway. So, anyway. He, <laughs> he ended up at 83. What kind of stats yeah. has he got here, man? He's got 1,620 health, 500 stamina. He's got 385 weight, which is perfect for me. And he's got 363 melee damage and 100% movement speed. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. And with the amount of stamina they use, which is it's weird. The stamina like algorithm for these guys or whatever is much, much less. That's a good amount of stamina. Whoa, whoa there, man. You're so fast like a quick rabbit. Is it fast now? Is it faster than the other ones? Uh, want to race? Faster than some. Oh, you want to race? You? I think, well, wait, I'll see, it'll, we'll be able to gauge how fast it is. For okay. Comparison. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. I think you're way faster. I think I am way faster. I also, I had to have my speed up though to 110%, so not bad, not bad at all, but he's not a bad level, like, and these guys aren't easy to find. We were out here for, like, probably three hours looking around, and that was the highest level one we saw. Yeah, it was pretty redonkable. Well, we, you know, the, the peeps saw us find the level 64 one, but... Yeah, we did find the 64 one. That's true. I forgot about that. But, um, all right. Well, we got you a guy. He's not awful low level. He's They're cool looking, man. You know what? I think it'd be neat. These guys are like the raptor of the sea. If you had a bunch of them, man, like a school, we, we should tame up. Yeah, man, we should tame up a whole bunch of them and attack a plesiosaur store where the movie be cool looking. Let's do that. We have to do that, but it have to be for another day. Let's head back to let's head back to base, man. I am on my way back. We can't be that far. You know what? We're pretty close. Right over here. Let's head back, and then something will happen. True. Hey, we're back, and we got it. I mean, I got I got hooked up today. I'm excited, man. It's pretty awesome looking, man. I, I mean, really like this Ichthy. He's a nice Ichthy. He's a good color. 150th level right now, and he's got like decent stats on him. A thousand health now. I'm gonna bring his melee damage up to one or to 500 percent probably, and then just start pumping speed on him. The Tyrannodon of the sea. True. And, and you I got. You hit it. That would make this like the Argentavis of the sea. I, I, I'm not really sure. They, we don't have enough flying critters to to have like a comparison for all of these things. They're the raptor of the sea. The megalodon is the argy of the sea. The megalodon's the argy. Okay. Yep. This is the raptor of the sea, man. And they're they're so cool looking and so neat. He's not like super high level, but he is really rad. So he's gonna be like super cool. Um, and like I was saying to you before, man, I think if you got like ten of them or something like that, or fifteen of them, like it would be crazy cool to see them all schooling behind you, killing stuff. Yeah, and then if you had their speed up really high, you could have them following the Nixie or anything. Yep, yep, that would be rad. Well, all right, cool, man. It was a long time underwater. It's been a long day. I'm pruny. My fingers and toes are totally pruny. Let me see. See them? Yeah. Wow. So pr so pruny. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Your bald head is so pruny right now. I know. I mean, 
I look astute, but but also wet. <laughs> right on. All right. Well, cool. Thanks for hanging out, man. That's going to be it for today, peeps. If you guys right. like the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. If you Bam. haven't already, don't forget to heck, check out Mazion and subscribe for more Mazioning stuff and things. Oh, you said amazing! I'm so proud of you, brother. 